Hello, it's Friday the 13th, but don't let that bother you. Stay with us and watch What's On with me, Alex Ashmore. In tonight's show, I'll be giving you all the weekend's events and details of what's on around Sheffield. I'll be having a chat with writer Gavin Extens about his latest release and see if it can be as successful as his first novel. I'll be taking a look at last night's Exposed Awards and to see who won and all the reactions. But before all of that, we start off with what is happening on Sheffield's music scene here, taking to the stage this weekend. Young rapper Chip is at Plug tonight. Expect plenty of fire on the stage from the global superstar. Formerly known as Chipmunk, the 24-year-old rapper is bringing some big tracks as he prepares to release his latest album this year. Doors open at 7.30. Tickets are only £8 as well. Aaron Keylock is at Corporation tomorrow night. He started out playing his local city uh, at Oxford at just 11 years old. Now at 16, Aaron is a blues guitarist, a singer and a songwriter. Doors open at 6.30. And Sheffield band the SSS are at the Lead Mill tomorrow night at 7.30. The five-piece band are formed in 2013 and have since then played across the UK. They have quickly been a recognised name in Sheffield due to their growing fan base and impressive headline and support slots. And that was the lineup of gigs coming up. Now we see what is coming up in arts and culture. Sheffield has many galleries and theatres. Here's what's on this weekend. If you're a book lover, why not go to the Uni of Sheffield Western Park Library this weekend and check out Books That Trees Will Be Proud Of exhibition. The collection of prints and pamphlets is on show until the 26th of May. X Plus Y is released today. The film that stars Sally Hawkins was pr partly filmed in Sheffield. It is directed by Morgan Matthews and follows a troubled teenager, Nathan, who struggles with life and has a poor interaction with others. A Night of Dirty Dancing is at Sheffield City Hall this Sunday. Take a trip back to the summer of 63 and relive the Patrick Swayze sizzling performance along with classic tracks including The Time of My Life and Hungry Eyes. The ultimate tribute show will be on at the Irwin Mitchell Overall. Doors open at 7pm. The show will start at 8pm. Last night was the Expos Awards at Sheffield's O2 Academy. The magazine sets up the award night to focus on the best organisations Sheffield has to offer. 22 awards were given out at the sold out event with categories such as best cultural attraction, best club and best new restaurant. I was given exclusive access to watch the award show and see the winners after they picked up their awards. <laughs> about yourself and who you are. Um, we are from Tank Coffee, um, so yeah, we've just won Best Cafe Deli. Okay. And did you think that you would win this year? No, definitely not. There's a lot of competition and there's a lot of great uh, coffee shops popping up in Sheffield, so we never expect to win. We always just, so, like I said, just to be nominated is always nice to be recognised. The winner of Best New Restaurant is Anchorage. <laughs> Best local brewery, absolutely, uh, you know, really happy with it. We've been going 25 years this year, and it's uh, just to uh, top it off. Yeah, did you think that you would win this year? We didn't. Well, we, we no, we didn't think we'd win. Uh, you know, it was just, it was, you know, so many great breweries out there in Sheffield that we were just, uh, 
really happy that we, we managed to top it. <laughs> yeah, so can you just tell us who you are and what you've won? We've won the Best New Bar Award in Sheffield for 2015, which is fantastic for us, it means a lot. The bar is called the Beer House, it's Sheffield's first micro pub. A micro pub is a small beer element that's uh, focused on cascales. We have five gins, lots of different tonics, and it's all about sitting with no gaming machines, no music, just sitting, talking with friends, and enjoying really quality drinks, and that's what we do. Um, I'm Duncan, I'm manager at Fat Cat Pub. Uh, we've just won Best Traditional Pub. Uh, did you think that you would win this year? Uh, to be honest, no. The, um, the final five were all absolutely amazing pubs, and I'm just I'm really happy that we've won it. We're the Blower Creator, Creator Hair Salon, and we've just won Best Hair Salon in Sheffield. 2015. Congratulations. Did you think that you'd win this year? We're really yes. happy we've won this year. Yes. We've tried really hard through social media and everything else, and we're really happy that we've won this year. We're in our seventh year this year, and this we're going bigger and bigger every year. I hope you're all going to come and support us. Uh, Grand Minds Festival and awards. <laughs> Did you think that you'd win this year? Um, to be honest, we're always up against this competition. Um, so, yeah, we're never sure. We're at the Milestone restaurant in Callum Island, Sheffield. Did you think that you'd win this year? Sorry. Did you think that you'd win the award this year? No, we didn't actually. Uh, we had some really strong competition this year. Yeah. So, can you just tell us who you are and what you've just won there? Uh, we are Soyo Bar and we have just won the Best Bar Award. Do you think that you would win this year? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. The competition was very, very tight and uh, I'm really proud and uh, thanks to everyone who's done for us. Uh, we're Plug and we've won Best Live Music Venue and Best Club Night. So two awards. Two, the two, the same. Yeah, the biggest two awards and we've yeah. won them both. Do you think that you'd win two awards tonight? We, we've swept the board, we've set the board, it's, it's the nice. Board. Yeah. yeah, we've really enjoyed ourselves There's tonight. There's no need for any Kanye antics tonight. <laughs> And that was the Expos Awards last night. If you saw your favourite place win an award or a place that you've not been to yet uh, that may have changed your opinion, then please let us know. You can tweet us at Sheffield Live or use the hashtag What's on Sheffield. Contact us on Facebook and you can email us. That is what's on at sheffieldlive.org. Let's take a look at what people are doing this weekend in the community. Right Up My Street is at Carpenter Room this weekend. This is a creative workshop around writing and expanding words. If this is up your street, then get down to the Carpenter Room tomorrow at 10.30am. The showroom is taking a bread making class tomorrow at 10am. A fun and informative ven venture into the wonderful world of bread making. Tickets are on the website along with more information. And Sparkle Sheffield finishes tomorrow. The Autism Fair provides information by professionals for parents of autistic children. Come down to the free event from 10am at the uh, Red Radio Youth Foundation. Now we take a look at this weekend's fixtures across all fields of sport, happening right here in Sheffield. Sheffield Wednesday are taking on Fulham in the championship, championship game at Hillsborough. The Owls lost 4-0 when they visited Fulham before Christmas. Can Wednesday secure a home win tomorrow? Kickoff is at 3 p.m. Coventry are visiting Sheffield Arena to play against the Sheffield Steelers. The Steelers won 3-2 in the previous game at Coventry Sky Dome when it was taken to overtime. Find out if the Steelers can win tomorrow when the kickoff at 7 p.m. Sheffield Sharks are at home tonight, taking on Plymouth University Raiders. The last game was a nail-biting match with Plymouth winning by just one point, the result being 91-90. The game kicks off tonight at 7.30 at the English Inst Institute of Sport.
and that is all to come this weekend. Remember to buy tickets beforehand so you don't miss out. Now in tonight's programme I am going to be chatting with Gavin Etstens. Uh, when he is not a keen chess player and spending time with his family, Gavin is writing novels. He has always been into books and started writing, writing shortly after he finished his film studies when he got his PhD. Gavin's first novel, Universe vs Alex Woods, became a success and went on to winning Waterstone's 11 Literary Prize. He's back ready to release his latest book, The Mirror World of Melody Black. Welcome to the show, Gavin. Thank you for having me. No problem. Um, let's just talk about how it all began. Um, we've got the book here, The Universe vs uh, Alex Woods. Where, where was your idea of making this novel? Um, well, I, I've loved writing since I was a kid, and then when I, I graduated from uni, it was right at the beginning of the recession, and um, I was applying for jobs and getting nowhere, and writing became a way of keeping me sane through that period. So um, I, I started writing again, and I very quickly fell in love with it. And um, yeah, after about a year or two of, of trying and failing to write, I eventually had this idea for, um, for Alex Woods, and spent the next 18 months uh, writing it. Uh, when was it released, this one? This was uh, it was a couple of years ago. It yeah. was January 2013. So, um, yeah, the last two years have really flown by. But uh, when I actually started writing it, we're going back five years now. Um, and what helped you, because obviously this has been really successful and it won that award, what really helped you um, make this novel? Was it, because you did film studies, did that help in any way, visualising? Um, it did, yeah, in a strange way. I think um, my imagination's quite uh, visual. When I, I sit down to write a scene, I sort of imagine where the furniture's going to be and stuff that's not going to come across in the book, but it really helps me um, create that, uh, that sense of reality in the book. So uh, I think it, it played a part. And also in terms of just uh, plot and structure, um, I mean, film's great for really condensing a story down to, to its essentials and, you know, telling a, a story in the most economical way possible in 90 minutes, a couple of hours. I think that fed really productively into, into my writing. I like to keep things as tight as possible. We have got a copy of uh, your latest release, uh, The Mirror World of Melody Black. Um, this was, was this released yesterday? It was yesterday, yeah. yes, so it's out in shops now. That's the book. Um, Really lovely book. I've not re uh, read it yet, but just by the front cover, it's a really nice book. Um, what made you to write another novel? Um, obviously, you've had that gap between the first one. What made you write this one? Well, um, Alex's book is part of a two, two book deal. So I went from um, the situation of writing this book completely in private. I didn't even tell much of my family I was writing. It was there. Uh, it was a little secret, and that was nice because there was no pressure on me. I, I felt like I could sort of try and fail in private. And then um, it did much, much better than I could have ever expected, and Hodder, who published the book, really got behind it and uh, bought it and said, well, we'd also like you to write a second book. So suddenly it, it went from something that uh, was a private ambition to being a very public um, expectation. Really, so it, it, um, it took me about eight months or so, maybe a bit longer, to actually get back into writing. And a big part of that was just uh, shell shock, really, of thinking, now I have to write a book. And uh, once I sort of put that from my mind and started enjoying it a little bit, uh, that became much easier. And it took about a year of actual writing time to, to get the second one done. But uh, no, it's a, it's a career now. It's what I, I want to keep doing until they uh, nail my coffin shut, ideally. <laughs> um, do you think it'll be as successful as the first one? Oh, that is out of my hands in a really nice way. I think my job as a writer is to write the best possible book I can. And then um, that sort of becomes everyone else's job. The first one really benefited from a lot of um, support from from uh, the press and from Waterstones and from Amazon. It's really the booksellers who make a book. If they get behind your book and really um, tell people about it, that's the single thing that makes the biggest difference early on. So early signs are good. People seem to have responded really well to it. Um, from my point of view, it was just a relief finishing it. It turned out much better than I was hoping. <laughs> So, so yeah, we'll see. It's something that I don't really know, but obviously I'm hopeful and, um, yeah, try not to stress too much about the, the sales figures. <laughs> um, do you think that another one might be happening? 
Are you in yeah, process of yeah. anything? Yes, I'm writing a third one now. And uh, yeah, the second one was the hard one. It's the cliche about the difficult second album. Yeah. Um, in this case, the album being a book. And it, the second one's really hard. The third one, I was much more relaxed about it. And it feels a bit more uh, like a job in a good way. When you start writing, you feel like a tremendous fraud that you're sort of just pretending to write. Once you've done a couple of books, it feels a bit more like, OK, in theory, I know what I'm doing now. So I'm about a third of the way through the um, third book and hopefully we'll have had that uh, finished by the end of the year. Lovely. Um, and just so we can be clear, how much is it and where can we, can, where can we get this um, It is fourteen ninety nine, and it is available at Waterstones, at Amazon and I'm sure at, uh, lots of other uh, very good bookshops as well. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you very much for uh, being on the show and bringing the copies. Uh, look forward to getting a copy myself and reading it. So uh, thank you very much for being on the show, uh, Gavin. So now we, um, so now back to the release yesterday. So head to the nearest bookstore and check it out. Now it's time to have a look at what you people at home are saying this week. Here we have a look at social media such as Facebook and Twitter to find out what people of Sheffield are talking about. If you have an event or want to tell us something that's going on, tweet us at Sheffield Live or use the hashtag What's on Sheffield. You can message us on our Facebook page. So lots of, lots of people have been talking about the awards last night. Um, Kellen Brewery celebrates, want to celebrate the Expos Magazine Award. So for Best Local Brewery, we are giving away a free cask to a local pub. Retweet to be in the draw. So if you see that tweet, just retweet it and you can get a free cask. Uh, lots, lots of uh, info about the awards last night. Um, there's just a recap of what, uh, who's won. There's um, Soyo Sheffield. Uh, that was sponsored by them. The award for the Best Air Stylist goes to Philip Nixon of uh, Vanilla by Saba. Congratulations to uh, to him. Uh, sponsored by uh, Silver Sm Silver Smiths, made in Sheffield award goes to Henderson's Relish. Congratulations to them as well. Uh, Sheffield uh, gigs Sheffield are talking about uh, Take That, which is in June at the Motor Point Arena. So hurry and book your tickets for that. So that's pretty much it for social media. A quick reminder, just in case you're not already aware, is that today is Red Nose Day by Comet Relief. So this sees people wearing red and doing something funny for money. I would like to con congratulate everyone who's taking part in that and remember to donate, whether it's 50p or 50 pounds. Uh, that is all for tonight. Please keep, keep sending us your events and listening information to what's on at sheffieldlive.org or can contact us via Facebook and Twitter. That is Sheffield Live. Jasmine is back Monday, just after 6pm. Coming up now on Sheffield Live is our daily news programme. Thanks for being with us tonight. Have a fab weekend. Good night. <laughs>